Here's the application problem. It says, a farmer wants to build a regular hexagon animal pen next to his barn. One of the sides will border the barn so that only five sides of the fence need to be built. The pen will hold a total area of 2500 meters square of space. What length of fencing material will the farmer need? Okay. Normally, till now, you have been getting problems which involve rectangles and simpler shapes, right? Regular hexagon is a very interesting shape, and uh, in grade 12, we expect you to do this problem. Your knowledge of uh, uh, special triangles in trigonometry will help you do this problem, okay? Uh, we, I'll show you how. Let's first draw our hexagon and figure out what how does it look like and what should we be doing right let's say this is our hexagon okay so regular hexagon means all sides are equal right okay it's not very good but it's not bad either so let's have let's say this is our regular hexagon Okay, now it says that one side is with the barn. So let's say this side we is already fenced, okay. So we don't need this side. Now we need to find the other sides, okay. So how to go about? Let us say that length of each side is L. Okay, and now let's say this is our center. Let's make a triangle here. Okay. If this length is L, then this is also L, right? Correct. And since this is equilateral triangle, then what should be, I'll use different colors because this is going to be messy okay so here we are okay so let's write okay now before i mess this up let me remind you of your equilateral triangle separately i will make this separately okay yeah that'll be better for me let's say we have an equilateral triangle of length l so if I drop a perpendicular from here, then this side will be L by 2, is it okay? Half the length, right? And uh, how about the height? Height will be, well this is L by 2 and this is L, so what will be the height? Height will be square root 3 over 2. Okay, uh, let's go the other way. Uh, let me again do it trying to find out an uh, easier way for you. Okay, so we'll do with ratios this time. Let us say the side is 2. Okay, Let's take some numbers because working with numbers I have seen is always simpler, right? So let's take this to be 2. Can you see it? Okay, let me write with this pen 2, right? If this is 2 then this is 1, correct? So how much is this? This is 2 square minus 1 square square root, right? So which is 4 minus 1, so this is square root 3. Is that okay? So in this triangle, if this side is 2, then this is 1 and this is square root 3, correct? Now, if I say that this is 1, let us say this is 1. So let me again draw this triangle here and this time from the ratios, So what I will say now is I'll divide everything by 2, right? So I said this is 1 for me and this one will become half for me and this one will become square root 3 over 2. Is that okay? Correct. So this is an equilateral triangle. All sides are equal. So half of this is 2, this is 2, this is 2 and half of 2 will be 1 and so the height will be 2 square minus 1 square square root so which is square root of 3, right? This is when the sides are 2. 
Now if I divide every side by 2, I get 1 here and 1 over 2 here and square root 3 over 2 there, correct? Now, now we are assuming that the sides are not 1 but L, okay? So it will be L times this. So this one is L and so half is half of L as I got here and the height, this height, okay, let me write this height here outside, right? This height will be square root 3 over 2L, is it okay? Perfect. So that's how we'll get our triangle. So, so if I'm writing L here, then this height is square root 3 over 2L. Is that okay? That is the height, right? And the base we know is length is L. Is that okay? So now what is the area of the triangle, equilateral triangle? That is not simple, right? Half base into height. Do you get it? So I hope now it's very, very clear to you. So we say area... of one triangle okay is half times base times height is it okay so in this case what is our base half so base is also l right so all the sides are of equal length so we'll say l and height as we found is square root 3 over 2 times l is it okay so this is area of one triangle so how many such triangles do we have in our hexagon? We have six triangles, right? So we say area of six triangles equals to six times, right? Half, which is base, and square root 3 over 2L. Does it make sense to you? Yes, it does, right? Now, so you can simplify this, right? So you can simplify this in this goes three times. Is that okay? And L becomes L squared. Therefore, you are left with 3 over 2, 3 square root and L square. Okay, so we get 3 over 2 and then we have square root 3 here and then we have L times L, L square. So that's the area of 6 triangles and what is the total area given to us? 2500 meter square. So we'll write 2500 here. 25 is equal to this much. So that's the total area. Now we have a function in one variable length, right? Now we can find this length from here, right? So how can we find? We'll multiply this by 2, divide by 3 square root 3. Is that okay? And then square root it later, right? So from here we say what is L square equals to? So L square equals to 2500 times 2 over 3 square root 3. Is that okay? So now, let me take a calculator to calculate this value. Okay, so here we are. So we have here and we say 2500 times 2 equals to something divided by 3 equals to something else and then we divide it by square root 3, right? And we get 962.25. So we get 962.25 equals to L square. So what is L? L is square root of this, right? So we'll do square root of our answer. And we get 31.02. And from here, we get L equals to 31.02. Correct? So, so we get... Length is 31.02. You can approximate, right? 30 square is 900, so slightly more than 30, right? Now, that is our length of one side. So, we need the total fencing. So, we'll multiply this by 5. That is it. And we get 155.1. So, now, so we can write here. Now, this, so we got length here, correct? Therefore, now from here, so we have to fence from five sides. So five times length is equals to five times 31.02, which we got as 155.1, right? Since it is more than 155, so we'll write 156 meters, right? The units are meters squared. So we get 156 meters as the length. 
So what length of fencing material will the farmer need? So the answer should be written completely as the farmer will need 156 meters of fencing material, right? I hope you understand how we did it, right? Okay, let's get back to it once again. If you remember your special triangles, right, for 30 degrees and 60 degrees, then it will help you to achieve this result faster. Okay, otherwise we can start from the very basic. Let's assume that we have an equilateral triangle. Each side is 2. Then half of 2 will be 1. We drop a per perpendicular here. Then what will be the length of the perpendicular? The height of this triangle. 2 square minus 1 square square root. So we get square root 3, correct? Now, if I divide each side by 2 similar triangles, then we will get 1 here, 1 over 2 on this side, square root 3 over 2 of the other side, right? So this is a right angle triangle. And here we are talking about 60 degrees angle. Is that okay? Now, but we have assumed our triangle to have a length of L, correct? All these sides are equal, correct? All these sides are equal to L. Is it okay? Now, since it is L, we will multiply by L. So it becomes L here, length, and the height becomes square root 3 over 2L, and the, well, the base total is L, right? Now, area of triangle is half base into height. You plug in these values, get area of one triangle. We've got six triangles like this in our hexagon. So multiply by six, right? So this is the area of six triangles, right? Then you simplify your expression in. You've got now this equation in L, so find L. And we got some value of L as 31.02. Since one side is already with the barn, right? So you need only five sides. So it will be five times length, which gives us 156 meters. So that's how it is to be done, right? So the farmer will need about 156 meters of fencing, correct? Okay, thank you.